Okay, next video, thank you. Um, so I la ended my last video with I landed on my back. Well, more specifically, I landed on my left arm. And you can see here, I landed on my left arm with it almost completely under my back. And I, I believe that's why the impact wasn't quite as intense as I had expected. Of course, it was very painful for my left arm, but I had been expecting the sensation to be my back and feeling if I hit the cement on my back, I will be paralyzed, if not dead. And I uh, landed almost entirely with my left arm under my back. So my poor left arm was broken in four places, uh, humerus, radius, ulna, and wrist bone, all broken. But this arm saved my back. If I had not landed on this arm, I my back would have broken in four places. So I believe that that's the answer prayer uh, of mine as I fell to be able to walk and continue to walk. So the sacrifice, of course, was my arm. And uh, but so please continue to pray. Um, I have movement of my shoulder. Uh, and I'll get this cast off on May 7th. And I've posted some pictures of, there's a lot of metal, a lot of screws in there. I'm thankful for the work that Dr. King has done. And um, I'm thankful that I can move all my fingers. Um, but as you can see, they're bruised and swollen. So I am stronger than ever in my prayer ministry. And I thank you for joining me in prayer. And I ask for continued prayers for my healing so that I can continue to pray for you and pray for children, pray for anyone who asks for prayer. Prayer is real, it works, it is a battle in the spirit realm, and we are powerful there, and I want you to have confidence in that. I want you to be encouraged by my story, and pray, pray for those you love. If you don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I pray that you will. You can uh, read the book of Matthew. is a great introductory book to read, to learn about the Lord. And I pray that you will accept the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior and find Christian friends and church and start attending, start praying. Live the fullness of life. You will never have peace or satisfaction until you accept the Lord as your Savior. He is, Jesus Christ is the one sent. He's the Messiah. He is Jewish. And he is the prophesied Messiah of the Jewish people. And I pray that more Jews will accept him. I'm seeing that happen, which is an answered prayer of mine as well. And everyone needs to accept the Lord. He, his salvation is for us all. And that is what we celebrated on Easter. Good Friday, he died to forgive us from our sins once and for all. Easter Sunday, he rose. And Good Friday, I fell. I don't equate myself to Jesus, but I believe that the pain I went through is giving me more empathy and uh, a more powerful ministry. And on Sunday, I was able to get up from my bed and walk as I had prayed. And I thank you on Easter Sunday that I was able to walk and on Easter Sunday that Jesus Christ rose from the dead and that's the day we celebrate it. Thank you.